Hello and welcome to our practice exam. My name is Katie and I'm your practice examiner. The questions of this test are designed to stimulate the IELTS test speaking test. Let's start. What's your first name, please? My name is Irene. Thanks, Irene. At the beginning of the test, you will be required to provide your some ID. But since this is okay. a practice test, we don't need it as of today. I want to talk about okay. yourself. Where do you live? I live in a small village called Akin Suedro, which is located in the eastern part of Ghana in West Africa. Okay. And uh, do you live in an urban or rural area? <laughs> Interestingly, I live in a rural area, even though the place is not that, the, the place is not that big, so it can be classified as a rural area. Okay, thank you. And uh, do you see yourself living in a city in the future? Oh, no. In future, I would love to move to the urban center since I've been staying in the rural area for quite a while and the place is quite boring for me. I like it. I would also love to get a very good education for my children. And that is why I would love to move to the urban center for another, for more progressive life. Okay, thank you. Well, why do people live in rural areas? It depends on what they want to get and everybody and his or her opinion. People live in the rural areas just for the, 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 the serenity of the area because uh, it's less noisy in the rural areas. And then there is some, in my opinion, it's, uh, there is, a, uh, there is less social vices also. And there is enough food for their children. So they will prefer to live in the small cities, small areas for their own gains. What jobs are available in rural areas? Did you say what challenges? Yes, what jobs are available in okay, rural okay. areas? Okay, in Ghana, in rural areas, what you normally find is farming. That is what the people does a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but in, at my place, in my rural center, you will find a small clinic and very good schools as well here. And um, there is also market centers available where people do buy and sell. They have um, shopping, small shopping shops, small shopping centers where groceries are also sold. Okay, let's move on to the topic of seaside. Do you often go to the seaside? <laughs> I love to always visit the sea. It's one of the fantasies that I dream about a lot. So whenever I go to the town, I go to the city and I get the chance to visit the sea. I love the way the sea moves and rolls. But unfortunately, because I live in the rural area, there is no sea available. It makes it difficult for me to get availability of one. But in future, if I happen to live in the urban center, I will prefer to always visit the sea to see how nature is and how the sea rolls. I really love that, to see that whenever I watch movies and I see, I become very excited. Okay, thank you. Why do people like spending time by the beach? For various reasons, I think people would love to be at the beach 
for her. In my, just like I said, in my opinion, I would love to see how nature behaves at the sea centers. So uh, I think people love to go there to feel the breeze and to swim, to also fish. Um, that is those who work at the sea center, they will go there to fish for their living. And, and uh, majority of people goes there on holidays to swim as well. Yeah. Okay. And, and that uh, makes it so fun. Okay. Yes, that's true. Thank you. What do people do at the beach? <laughs> Interestingly, people have various reasons why they go to the beach. A majority goes there with their family and friends to have fun especially during weekends and holidays. They go there for relaxation, meet with friends, have parties, and enjoy themselves together, even though uh, people also go there for different purposes. There are some who go there to steal. Uh, those people that bring items, they go there to steal as well, but majority of the people go there for enjoyment and for activities, different kinds of activities, like sporting activities, which is on friendly matters. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about dentist. Do you mind visiting the dentist? Sure, I would love to visit the dentist. Most of the time, I want to have my teeth being cleaned. Um, and so we would love to visit the dentist anytime soon for teeth whitening it's very interesting i love to see my teeth being <laughs> white and one of the things i would cherish most is to go to the dentist to heighten my teeth even though i don't really have dental problems but that is what i really want to do if i have opportunity to visit one okay why are some people nervous about the dentist Depends on why they want to go there. People have um, toothache and um, a mouth odor. So sometimes they go there and they think um, they may be giving some diagnosis that they are not ready for, or the cost of dentistry is quite expensive, especially in Ghana. Visiting the dentist is quite expensive and people wouldn't love to spend that much. So they are scared or for maybe um, the fear of um, some diagnosis that they are not ready for. They would love to stay in their homes and do home treatment when they have teeth issues. But it's good to visit the dentist for a very good reasons. Okay, thank you. Is visiting the dentist expensive in your country? Sure, as I said earlier, visiting the dentist could be expensive depending on the problem you have. Uh, it's quite expensive, especially when you want to whiten your teeth, when you want to do a teeth replacement. Oh, most of the time, it's quite expensive when you want to do a lot of things about your teeth. It's quite expensive and people are not really interested to visit one because they stay in their homes and do home treatment a lot. And by the time they get to the dentist, it has escalated to a very huge amount. And that is something Great. which is not too good. Great, thank you. And now I'm gonna give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about one to two minutes. Before you talk, okay. you have one minute to prepare and one to two minutes to answer. I'm going to show you a card on the screen. Here's your card. And uh, don't worry if I stop you, because okay. this part number two will long last for about one to two minutes. I'm going to time you for one minute for your preparation.
You may now start speaking. Okay. There, there was, um, this year, 2021, was one of the years I had to make a very difficult choice in my life because I needed to attend who I needed to further my education to the university level. And I, I had a, a very a one year old child that I needed to leave in the house to go to school because I cannot go to school with my child uh, as it does not, the school does not request one to bring her child. I, in fact, it was one of the difficult moments because at that time, as I was leaving, my child was still breastfeeding and I had to um, stop breastfeeding to take the child to my family, my mother, to be able to further my education. It was one, it, in fact, I didn't feel better at all when I went to school. I will always be thinking about how my child was doing, if he was coping with his feet, and you'll be in school and you'll be called that you know, your, your child is not feeling well, he is sick and immediately whatever that you are learning is all lost. And it was, in fact, it wasn't an interesting thing at all until I have to finish school in 2022 to come back to the house to take care of my child. Even though when I came, um, things have changed. You know, leaving your child very young in two years' time, you come back, you don't expect to see the child the same way. Uh, things have changed drastically. Uh, in, in fact, it was interesting and it wasn't, it was pleasing sometimes. You'll be grateful for what people have done for you. But sometimes to mannerism and everything has changed and it's difficult to correct the child back to how he used to behave. And it's really taught me a great lesson. And I also tried my best to learn to impress my child because I had to leave her, him um, in that situation. And I needed to make this choice because it was also going to help me to build my career, which was also needed. You know, you need to be promoted once you are working. And if you don't attend school, how do you get a lot of promotions? So this was one of the times that I had a very disturbing okay. moment. Thank but you very at much. At the end of it. Now uh, let's well. talk about making decision. What type of difficult decisions do governments have to make? Oh, by the way, before I before we proceed, I just want to give you a little bit of a uh, advice, or I have heard something. Okay. You said to impress your child. You're not gonna impress your child. You're going to nurture, nurture okay. your child. Okay. Nurture is uh, more on, the, you know, giving our children's needs for growing, for their, you know, uh, for them. I, I guess it's a misword, okay? We are only okay. have to impress okay. the, our boss or the interviewer somehow or anything like that. Okay. Uh, that's okay. us all, only, okay. And you said before, okay. it's like last 2021, you, I mean, sorry, you said, this 2021, but uh, it's uh, already done, right? Last 2021, correct? Okay. Uh, only this, okay. okay. Now, let's go to part number three. We're going to be talking about making decision. What type mm -hmm. of difficult decisions do governments have to make? Interestingly, government always makes lots of decisions, especially during the campaigning time. And that decisions come back to affect them in, in, in when they are ruling. Yeah, for example, Ghana, uh, there was a decision that the government made of free secondary education. And when the program began, when the government was voted into power, 
then the program began. It became one of the very difficult decisions that the government has to make because it needed a lot of finances and the people in the country were somewhere not in support. I mean, the oppositions, since they were not in support of the, um, the decision that the government made, it became a very big problem in the country. And then there was so many talks and even though the, the decision, the, um, the free SHS is ongoing, it has had so many difficulties and it's been under scrutinized by the people in the country. So it, it, that is what I will use as an example. And most of the time, other government also promised a lot of things like constructing new roads, constructing malls, giving okay. so many Thank promises you. that yeah, no, uh, should also. young people be given more decision powers. Yes, uh, in my opinion, it's good for young, the younger ones to be given, um, to be given the opportunity to make the decisions in government, because they are the youth and they carry the country. So whatever that they feel they want should be considered, so that the country will move on. Because if you, fall, if you fail to fulfill their desires, sometimes they lose to coup d'etat and other social rights, which is not being encouraged. But when you give the opportunity to the younger ones, they encourage themselves and they bring more ideas. And at the end, it leads to success. In, however, some people decide not to include, include um, these people and they normally want the older ones, since they believe the older ones have the good experiences and have the, um, the, the, the bargaining power, which affects the country uh, as a whole at the end of uh, their ruling. Okay, thank you. Great, thank you very much. That's the end of our speaking test. Yeah, you can now turn okay. off your camera. Yes, Irene, very good. I have already shared some of that advice, so we <laughs> exceeded you. our time, right? Let's go with Susie. Hi, Susie. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yes. All right. So thank you, Irene. Please turn off your camera because I will ask Susie uh, for now. Thank you very much. Thank now, you. Susie, let's start our speaking test. Yeah. Okay. Hello and welcome to our practice exam. My name is Kitty. I'm your practice examiner. And uh, this test is designed to stimulate the IELTS speaking test that was made by Flint. Let's start. What's your first name, please? Susie. Thanks. Susie, at the beginning of the test, you will be required to practice and give your ID. Since this is okay. a practice only, we are not going to use all of that. I want to begin oh. by talking about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Obuasi. It's not far from the regional capital city of Kumase. We have a lot of activities to do in our city. And we, um, there is mountain around us um, which most of the visitors go to visit when they are in town. We have secondary schools for the youth and also tertiary levels, which is now currently open. Mm, okay. Well, do you live in an urban or rural town? Well, it's an urban city. Um, it's open, but we don't have um, a lot of um, much um, infrastructures within we have a, a good schools, but the road within is very bad, which most of the people complain. Okay. Do you see yourself living in a city in the future? Yeah, I prefer um, living in the city because it has a good schools for our children and good transportation around, even though city seems to be very stressful due to the traffic that they encounter every day when they are going to work and then going to school. We have to wake up very early to catch up the time with when we are going for a work. 
So by in the near future, I would like to move to the city to explore and have a different experience that the city people also enjoyed and the social amenities. Well, okay, thank you. Why do people live in rural areas? Yes, yeah, some people prefer living in the rural areas because um, there is less um, stress within the rural uh, area, especially when it comes to transportation. In the rural areas, they are free transport around and less traffic online compared to the city. Also, um, even though they don't have the neighbor, the big names or schools that most of the people in the city go, but they have a um, um, school that cater for all the Cambridge or the standard of education that they have. And um, in terms of accommodation, it's very affordable. Getting a job in the rural area is also quite good for the people living in as compared to the city. Although the city people have a lot of works around. Okay. And um, finding it easy, finding work is also not easy for them. Yes, it will be better, Susie, if we're going to look at me because uh, I'm your proctor. Uh, right now as a <laughs> because if you always look at the ceiling you're talking yes. there right uh, okay. <laughs> so I want at an interaction that you have built a uh, rapport with your proctor and then when you're agreeing you can give me a signal if you already finished yeah this is one of my opinion yes you can give me a signal yeah yeah just say yeah uh, you know, this kind of stuff. Yeah, You can also use if you are thinking, so uh, we're not going to stack while we are speaking or we would like to think something. You use this course mark as a, you know, this kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then you give me signal, of course. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the topic of seaside. Do you often go to the seaside? Yeah, to be honest, I don't normally visit the seaside because I'm far from the place. Um, I would say that it's almost four hours, no, more than that. Um, eight hours journey from my the place where I live. Um, the seaside, the coastal areas are not, not much plenty of um, far. It's very far from my town. I have to drive very far. And um, I don't get the time due to work activities. Okay, thank you. Why do people like spending time by the beach? Yeah, most of the people love to visit the beach to go there and relax, have um, rejuvenate themselves, um, have fun with their family. They go there with their friends and loved ones during the vacation holidays and weekends. Okay, thank you. Now, I want to talk about dentists. Do you mind visiting the dentist? Yeah, I really love to visit the dentist because they are a special unit and um, con things concerning the teeth is um, a case that need a specialist. Whilst um, it's, it's supposed to be visit um, almost twice a year, so for me, I don't normally go there twice a year, but once a year, I do go visit the dentist for checkup of my teeth. And um, I love to um, work freely without having any harm within my teeth. Thank you. You could also say like I usually go at least once a year. Yeah, use that part usually because it is uh, that we call it as uh, like, uh, um, you know, adverbs, a kind of adverbs, which is adjectives also. Adverbs, adjectives, uh, often, usually these things. Thank you. Well, why are some people nervous about the dentist? Yeah, they get anxious because um, they don't know what um, will be done within the dentist unit because when you first visit, 
you don't know the issue concerning your teeth because when it's paining you or you're having a problem within it, all the mind or the psychology behind the dentist is to remove the teeth. And imagine um, being the, your teeth being removed, it's very painful. So anytime you are visiting the dentist, you have this mindset that when I go 